Hello and welcome back to IXL Tutorials. This is Mr. Duffick and today we are doing IXL K9, which is congruency in iso isosceles and equilateral triangles. Okay, so the knowledge of uh, knowing what an equilateral triangle and an isosceles triangle are uh, is going to carry you the entire IXL. So remember, equilateral triangles uh, have three sides that are all going to be equal and that means all three angles are also going to be equal, right? Preferably uh, um, or implied to be 60, 60, 60. Isosceles triangles are similar except only two. So only two sides, and that's the case with this triangle, only two sides are going to be congruent. But that also means two angles are going to be congruent as well. Okay, specifically the angles that are um, on the opposite side of where they intersect. So right here. These two angles are going to be congruent. They're going to be the same. And so we just have to identify certain sides and certain angles based on the fact these triangles are either equilateral or isosceles. So let's do it. So it says, what is the value of V? Okay. Well, like I said earlier, this is an isosceles triangle. And we know that because this side and this side have a single tick mark, meaning they are congruent, meaning only two sides of the three are congruent. So that's isosceles. And we know these two angles right there are indeed going to be uh, congruent as well. So how we figure this out is very simple. We know that all three angles have to add up to uh, 180 degrees. So we know this one is V. We know this one is V. Good. And so from here, we're just going to write it out algebraically. We'll go 34 plus V plus V equals 180. Okay, we'll combine all the like terms here. I'm going to do subtract 34 from both sides. We're left with v plus v is 2v, which equals 180 minus 34 is 146. Now to get v by itself, we'll divide by 2. We'll go v equals 146 divided by 2 is 73. And that is all. Okay, we'll go back, plug it in, 73, and that is done. Next, uh, what kind of triangle is this? Well, it's an isosceles, right? One tick mark, one tick mark, no tick mark. So two are the same, meaning these two angles right here are going to be the same, right? Both of the angles that are opposite of where they intersect. So if this angle is 53, that means Y is going to be 53 as well. Okay, what kind of uh, triangle is this? Well, again, it's going to be isosceles because we know these two angles are congruent and there's no indication of that here. Uh, so just these two, meaning that these two sides are going to be congruent. So if this one is three, that means U is going to be three as well. Okay, all three angles have the single ring, meaning they're all the same, meaning this is an equilateral triangle meaning all three sides are going to be the same length as well. So if one side right here is 10, that means W is also going to be 10. So that's all this IXL is. It's just identifying what kind of triangle you're dealing with and figuring out what the missing values are, right? This one is equilateral because all three angles have the single ring. So all three angles are 60. They're all the same, meaning all the sides are the same. So if this one is 9, that means this one is 9. Okay, so I'm going to jump. 72, um, same deal, except now they uh, ask you to fill in more information. Um, so I guess I can do this one real quick. Okay, so looking at the kind of triangle, you see immediately is it, it is an isosceles triangle because of the two tick marks. And so you know that this angle and this angle are going to be the same. So W is going to be 46. But we still got to find what V is. So we're gonna go V plus 46 plus 46 equals 180. We'll have V plus 46 plus 46 is 92 equals 180. Subtract 92 from both sides. Nope, not 29. 92. All right, we're left with V equals 190, or I'm sorry, 180 minus 92 is 88. So V is 88. So V is 88 and W is 46. 
So V is 88 and W is 46. Okay, same deal here. Jump to 83. What is the value of B? Okay, interesting. Um, so you're going to, again, identify which angles are which angles. You see here, these are both going to be isosceles triangles. Okay, think of them as two different triangles. Um, and these two sides have tick marks and these two sides have a single tick mark. There's no tick marks here, so this is not going to be equal to any of the other sides. And so we'll uh, use the same logic as before. We'll start with, um, we'll start with, we'll do this triangle right here. We'll do the right one. So this is an isosceles triangle. We know this angle is 45 and therefore, or I'm sorry, 44. That means this angle is also going to be 44, right? These two uh, sides are the same, therefore these two angles are the same, meaning we can figure out what B is now. So 44 plus 44 plus B equals 180 degrees. 40 plus, 44 plus 44 is 88 plus B, which is 180. Subtract 88 from both sides. And we are left with B equals 92. That's like a flip of the last problem. Interesting. So B is 92. 92. So not quite a right angle. Okay. Okay, so you now have a problem like this. And so um, you're just going to use your logic from here. Okay, um, you know that this is an isosceles triangle, which is great. And you know this entire angle, right? Our, our flat line or our um, horizontal line with that transversal type thing going through it, that has to add up to 180, meaning if this is 140, what's left here is just 40. And since this is an isosceles triangle, if this side is 40, that means this angle right here is going to be 40 as well. And so now we can figure out what y is by going 40 plus 40 plus y equals 180. Okay, 80 plus y equals 180. Subtract 80 both sides. So we are left with y equals 100. Okay, so um, I think that's where I'm going to end the video. Just kind of use your logic um, to figure out what the missing sides or the missing angles are, and that'll be it. Okay, stay safe and study hard. I'll catch you on the next IXL tutorial. Goodbye.